Hey there everyone! Been a while since I last did a State of the Channel video. I just have a few things to announce that concern both this channel in general and Super Idols in specific. We'll start with the general channel thing because I know there are a lot of people who are still subscribed to this channel who aren't into Super Idols and I really want them to hear this part so please stick around, we'll get to you in just a sec. Um, if you're watching for Super Idols updates then there will be time codes in the description that you can use to skip to those. So, uh, you, you may have noticed that it's been almost a year and a half since I declared a hiatus for Maho profile, and it's been nothing but Super Idol City around here for all that time. Uh, this shouldn't really be a surprise since I pretty much said that would be the case in the last update video about Maho profile going on hiatus. Um, I do have a Maho profile update I want to share today, but unfortunately it's not going to be a very exciting one. The update is that rather than keeping the project on indefinite hiatus, I'm officially going to be calling Maho Profile finished, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, truth be told, I'm not even sure I would call this much of a material change, considering how things have already been for, again, the past, like, year and a half or so. Again, I said the hiatus for Maho Profile would be indefinite, and to me that meant it could last for multiple years if needed. But there are people who have been understandably very anxious about when Maho Profile will be coming back, and have been asking me when the hiatus will be over. So if the hiatus is going to last for multiple years, and it seems like it will at this point, and there's not even a guarantee that it even will end, I I figure it's probably better to just call the series finished for now. If I do manage to go back to it in the future, then great! If, it, if that happens, great! But now, if that happens, it would be a welcome surprise, and not like an expected thing that just took way too long to be fulfilled. Um, I wish I could tell you something more satisfying than that. I, I really wish, especially, that I could have had it in me to conclude the Cutie Honey miniseries properly. I did have a lot more of that written, I just couldn't get it to the point where I could include all the info I wanted to and wrap it up in a way that it deserved. Most likely, if Maho Profile ever does come back someday, it'll be when you least expect it, with one big drop of a finished mega video essay on Cutie Honey, full-on Quentin Reviews style. But for now, I have no idea if that will happen, when that will happen, I don't know, it might never happen, and again, I don't want to get people's hopes up for something that might not happen, so. For now, it's safer to say that I have officially moved on to other projects. And again, it's been long enough now that I think it's safe to say that my passion for Super Idols RPG is not a flash in the pan. I've said this in past videos, but I am on the autism spectrum, and Super Idols and actual play podcasts have definitely become special interests for me in that regard. It's very hard to predict how special interests will play out when you're autistic. Like, for example, I had a weirdly intense fixation last year on, specifically, Let's Plays of people playing Portal 1 and 2 for the first time. It was all I watched on YouTube for months, seriously. Like, I, I could not stop myself. As part of that, I finally finished playing Portal 2 myself, after having only finished like 80% of it several years back. Then I played and beat both Portal Stories Mel and Portal Reloaded, and then I watched Let's Plays of people playing those games and couldn't watch anything else. <laughs> um, and, and then suddenly, one day, I... I just stopped. I was done with Portal stuff, and I haven't really felt the need to go back to that well very much since. Right now I have kind of a similar fixation on the games of Davy Reedon and William Pugh, especially with the release of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe coming out this month. Finally! <laughs> um, and a another one of my older special interests has been rearing its head again lately because, <laughs> hey, I've been back into Pokemon again in a huge way lately, like almost to the same level I was at when I actually made Pokemon content on this channel. I weirdly have still not picked up Legends Arceus. My, my hyperfixation is specifically on both Sword and Shield and the older gen games. So I've replayed Pokemon Red recently and I'm currently playing through the post game of Pokemon Crystal. My hope is that I'll have replayed one mainline game from each generation before Scarlet and Violet come out later this year. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe the maybe that special interest will flare out again before that. I don't know. And that was a big part of why I only declared Maho Profile on hiatus last year, as opposed to ending it on the spot. When I said Super Idols was where my passion lay, I had no idea of knowing how deeply into it I would or wouldn't be by the same time next year. I had a pretty good feeling that I would be, 
because I like it's a very fulfilling creative project for me. But again, my special interests can and will just dry up very suddenly sometimes. However, at this point, I've been deeply into actual play podcasts since 2018, and I've been deeply enthusiastic about producing Super Idols since it started coming out in June 2020. It's coming up on two years now. I think it's safe to say at this point that these are stable, longer-term special interests that aren't likely to flame out anytime soon. So I think I'm safe to more firmly commit myself in that direction at this point. I only seem to keep doing more and more in both the actual play sphere specifically and the podcast sphere generally. So yeah, I, I think for now, I think I'm safe to keep chasing that bliss. And that actually leads into the Super Idols updates for those who are here for them. I actually might be chasing my bliss a little bit too hard, um, to the point of literal actual burnout, which is never good. <laughs> As such, uh, episode 32 of Super Idols is going to be delayed by a few weeks. It will be releasing on Sunday, May 1st. I had a ton of fun this past March, but let's be real, I did way too much. <laughs> Between regular Super Idols production, March Masks and his promotion and side projects on Twitter, our bonus March Masksness episode, multiple audio drama projects that I've managed to become a part of somehow, uh, recordings for the Roar to Heaven podcast that I helped co-produce and kickstart, organizing some upcoming commission stuff, and just some regular IRL commitments on top of all that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a little more than burnt out. <laughs> satisfied, satisfied, but burnt out nonetheless. <laughs> and next episode is going to be pretty long too, and I want it to be the best that it can be, so... I need both a break and some extra time to get that episode together. Hopefully y'all understand. I know almost all of you generally do, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that right now. Um, if you want some extra Super Idols to listen to in the meanwhile, I do highly recommend checking out that Marsh Masksness bonus episode, which is exclusive to the audio-only podcast feed. That is a, a really fun time. It's also a great one-shot for anyone who has never listened to Super Idols before. It's structured such that you don't have to know who the characters are or what the story is to listen to it. And we had some really great guests from the Otherware podcast on with us for that. So if you want to hear just a goofy, super-powered dance battle, um, <laughs> it's a very fun time. We also had a couple of other crossovers come out on other podcast feeds last month, including one where Dana played an alternate universe version of Vivi over on Otherware, and one on Listen to These Nerds, where I played Karen joining a multiversal superhero team on the hunt for their lost dino wings. So that was a good fun time too. <laughs> now, the last update I have to talk about is something I already announced on my Patreon, but I wanted to make sure more people knew about it. As part of everything that I've talked about so far, I am formally transitioning from a general Aaron Cerise Patreon over to a dedicated Super Idols Patreon. It effectively already was that at this point, so this is mainly just going to be a new coat of paint. Uh, however, this will also be coming with some changes to the tier rewards. A few of the rewards, like the before and after session talk and the uncut episodes, are going to be going away and are getting replaced with, frankly, much more interesting bonus content, uh, which includes a new in-character talk show called Idol Talk uh, that will be releasing after every episode coming up. Uh, there will also be some Patreon-exclusive one-shots and mini-campaigns that we've got planned. And patrons will get early access to the current alpha draft of my upcoming Super Idols-themed hack of masks, tentatively titled Super Idols RPG A New Stage. Um, if you want more details about all these Patreon changes, you can head on over to the public Patreon post about it linked in the description of this video. Changes will be taking effect on May 1st, which will coincide with the release of episode 32. Alright, I think that's all for me for now. Again, I hope people understand where I'm at right now and going forward. If you have any questions about anything I've said, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer. And whether you're on board for Super Idols or not, I really am grateful to everyone watching right now and who's watched and enjoyed my content in some way or another. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day. And for Super Idols listeners, I'll talk to y'all again on May 1st. <laughs>